Hey everybody, welcome back to Stardius. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, I have uh, some things I need to take care of. Uh, we, we need to kind of advance ourselves a little bit. We're going to change some stuff up here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these three solar panels because we don't have plastic. If we don't have plastic, we can't build them anyway. So um, I might as well just go into the old ones and build those instead. We're going to build two extra rows on this side. We're going to delete these side pieces here. And then we're going to continue to build them in the corners. To help with connecting these, since there's way, not enough connection points, we're also going to add one of these connectors. And I think we'll probably do it uh, maybe from here. And also on this side, we need to do that too. So it goes to here. We get those connected. On this side, I want to do the same thing. We're going to take the connectors, put one there and put one like there just to get extra connection points. And then we're going to proceed to building a bunch of solar panels. I think probably this many it could maybe support more. Yeah, um, but I'm trying to do two rows because eventually they will all be replaced by these bigger ones. So um, just the, the two rows is, is fine for now. Now we're going to need a bunch of stuff. We need lots of copper wire, we need lots, we need microchips, we need all that stuff. But the solar panels, they specifically are going to need copper wire. That's really all we need. So I'm going to take the crafting stations, anything that's making transistors right now, we're going to swap that to make copper wire because we don't have any. Okay. This one's making transistors as well. Um, battery cells out of this one. I think we can stop producing that, start making copper wire. And um, we'll just say we want a whole bunch. So add like 50. It's fine. Um, this one here, we can keep it making microchips because we're still going to need that too. Uh, and then this one's we're going to keep on transistors because we need those too. Now, over here, you can see that Boris is offline. Boris, if you weren't aware, is one of our cleaning bots. We'll get him moved over here so that you can uh, that you can see it. Now, you'll notice he's offline right behind the machine for the assembler, right? It's been making cleaning bots. And currently, it's at five out of six. The cleaning bots also occupy processing power, right? Um, we need to, you know, have the capacity for that. And if you'll notice in the ship computer, if I click it, we're at nine out of nine. This is implying, of course, that we are at our maximum load for um, bots. What this means is Boris, there's no processing power for Boris. Poor Boris. No, no power for him. Um, now we have a merchant ship that's uh, out there. At least it was. Where is it? Oh, it's right down here. Um, they don't really have anything that's super meaningful, but we are running a little bit light on copper. Um, because I want to, I want to sell copper eventually. Um, this is 163, and the the value of copper is kind of fluctuating. Let me just take a really quick look at the stock market here. Um, Starcred's for market. So Starcred's miner is here, and it is above our price. So you can see that the 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 Star Creds miner here is higher than when we bought it. Okay, so we we our break even price, our average price is twenty three twenty nine, and currently it's twenty uh, two thousand four two. So we're up here. You know we've made some profits, and um, if I wanted to get those credits back, I could totally do it. Um, but I'm not really gonna do it just yet. We're gonna wait on that because I'm probably gonna end up buying some of those. But uh, the thing we need is a lot of money and we need a lot of plastic. So when I, I keep calling these general, uh, traders, hoping they have them. If this general traders doesn't have one, um, you know, I'll probably seek another trader type. Um, maybe I'll ask the dev, Hey, do you have a trader that actually gives you plastic? Cause I don't want to sit there and keep calling it if they doesn't exist. Right. Also a wooden table. Our wooden chairs should totally go with the wooden table and the steel chairs should go with the steel table. I feel like, I feel like that makes sense, right? I mean, I'm not crazy. That, that's, that's something that makes sense. We can, we can write this wrong, right? I'm also gonna move the sleeping pod, uh, relocate. I can't because somebody's sleeping in it. How would you like it if somebody moved your bed while you were sleeping in it? Uh, in any case, we're going to want to take away some of these things. So 
I can't replace this because I don't have plastic. So the stockpile the microchip will just sit here. And we'll just go ahead and destroy this because I can't replace it because I don't have plastic. I think I'm going to make this my memory room and this my hard drive room. And then maybe this area over here is where we'll set CPU modules. Speaking of which, this is what enables me to control additional bots. So if I can find plastic, it'd be really nice, right, to, um, you know, get that going. And I think we don't really need these teleporters just yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel these tasks and, um, you know, let those be. We're going to go ahead and activate the furnace. And I want to get this configured to process copper because we're going to need that to do that too. I think also this iron one, we're going to might probably go ahead and process iron, uh, sorry, copper there too. So what's the plan for plastic, right? Because we got to have it. Well, there's two different things. There's two different ways you can make plastic, right? Um, the first way is the way I've been trying to, to get to, and that is to get over to, where is it? Over here somewhere. I keep going too far here. Advanced manufacturing. Now this takes, this is going to get us the fabricator. I'm a little bit soft locked right now because not completely, but very close to being soft locked. Um, the reason for that is because the fabricator creates plastic and um, so I need to research it, but I can't research it unless I have 24 RAM and I only have 17 and I can't get more RAM unless I have plastic because it takes plastic to get more RAM. So I'm in the situation where I need plastic to get the fabricator and I need the fabricator to get plastic. Okay. So for the time being, we can't do that. What we can do, however, if I come all the way over here, the molecular rearrangement, all right, this converter will allow me to convert certain materials and convert them into other types of materials. And this is what we're going to go get because it only takes 12 RAM to get it. And we actually still have the storage space to get it. Now, how do I know that? Well, you go into the codex here. You go into materials. It tells all the different materials in the game. You scroll over to plastic and it tells you there's two different, different ways to make it. Converter or fabricator. Since I have petroleum, but I don't have a fabricator, can't make plastic. This is obviously the preferred way to make plastic. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use the converter to take carbon, water, and rubber. And I actually have some rubber. Nine rubber. I don't have a whole lot, but I have some. And so we're going to try to take that and use it to, uh, to make what we need to make. So that's, that's the game plan is to use that converter. And I probably should have been doing that before, but I don't know. I guess I'll just tell you that I didn't know. You'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, it's pretty on character that I not know things that are just right in front of my face. That's part for the course that happens to me all the time. All right, we're going to connect this up and it looks good. Um, this one's not built yet, so we'll have to wait, but, uh, does this take rubber? Okay, good. I don't want to build anything that takes rubber. That's something I, I want to just avoid that if I can. Look at this wooden chair. Hold on. This wooden chair needs to go there. This one needs to go there. We have an extra one here. And you know what? I'm going to put it in the captain's. I think bridge controls could use the could could benefit from having a chair. So there you go. Bridge controls. You have a chair now being in the castle. Um, I can move this now. Let's put this over. I'm going to put it really close. Now I got a couple of things happening over here. I cancel that task for now, too. So a couple of things, right? We have uh, this area is not safe because there's not enough heat. So what I want to do, and hopefully it doesn't take rubber. I'm going to check the heater. The heater does take rubber. Yikes. This one doesn't take rubber though. So I'm going to take this heater. I'm going to place one, I think temporarily, I'm going to place one here and here. And, uh, it doesn't take rubber. And so we can have these rooms be more heated, get this hallway to be more heated. The other thing I can do to help with that, and I'm going to do that now, is I'm going to take a wall and just kind of go like this. Mm, okay. Take a wall and go like this, but then also place a door here so that they can get through here, I guess. Um, I don't want to like block this. 
So we'll do that for now. And uh, of course the idea being that this now has to heat a smaller area. This has a heater in it too. And so getting a vent in this area could prove useful as well. And I don't believe vents take rubber. Hope they don't, uh, they do not. So I can place a vent maybe over on this side too, just to provide additional, you know, you know, ventilation for, for this. So now when we get copper wire, which we're down by 60, 61, sorry, lots of copper wire needed. Need to move that over. Speaking of moving things over, um, we're gonna take this large planter here, which is currently growing coffee trees. Good. Uh, nope, not good, it needs to grow wheat. We're gonna relocate this to be over here. And um, then we're gonna switch the crop to be what we want it to be. For now, this is already grown, so we'll harvest it. This one is harvestable, this one is harvestable, and this one is harvestable too. So we'll harvest all of those, and then we'll connect this. Once all these get harvested, I can then swap this to be a different plant. Okay, the converter's done. So here's what we need to do. I'm gonna take, in the production tab, we have the converter does not take rubber good doesn't take plastic either thankfully and i'm gonna place this i don't really know where let's place it over here we're gonna make this a number one priority for all uh manufacturing okay so let's get that done and the next thing i want to do is we got to get going to a new planet because we've already exhausted the resources on this one so what i'd like to do is get moving to a new planet and we will choose Vlada Fedorov seems like a good place to go so we'll go all the way over there and see what's going on with that planet okay in the meantime let's make sure we get all of our electronics connected because that's important and we need to do that and that one and that one this side here here and here okay they still didn't build this. That's depressing. <laughs> it's the copper wire. I think I should just put all the crafting stations on copper copper wire, honestly. Let's just put um, the transistor. You're making copper wire now. All of you are making copper wire now. The other thing that's taking a long time, right, is that they're making it over here, but all the copper is getting processed over here. So they have to be hauled over here, and that's taking forever. Um, it would be nice to have this area kind of set up with that teleporter so that I can get people teleporting over here for the time being that's obviously not a not the thing not a case um bring this over here I guess let's get these things cleaned a little bit faster um so one thing I could maybe do is look to reposition one of the oh this won't connect there uh, let's get uh maybe this one yeah all right converter you are going to make plastic. This requires rubber, water, and carbon. We knew that already, and um, we just want to make 10. That's the only thing we can make. From there, we're going to want to prioritize spending that plastic on advancing computational infrastructure. Um, so I want to get, for example, these relocated. Looks like there are four of these, does it not? Four of the big... I guess we already had some plastic because we have four memory modules now. Cool. We're going to move them over here. Um, I'm also going to get another one of these plugs added, I think, here. Because we're going to... Uh, let's make sure I connect these kind of like as soon as they're over here. There we go. Uh, so moving the mem memory modules. Now, I could also have these stay prompted. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And we're just going to move these over right now. So we basically have... Like that. We're basically going to have a dedicated area for hard drives and a dedicated area for uh, RAM. Okay? And I'm just going to move this module over so that it looks a little bit cleaner and it's not a gap there. So there we go. Uh, so let's get this connected there and there. Now, if this is for the RAM, then this could be for processing, you know, CPU. So I can relocate this. I think I'm gonna relocate it over here and like make like a couple of blocks or something. And maybe I'll do it over here or something, but I want like a CPU block kind of in here. So I think 
Uh, maybe I'll wait until they build that. It doesn't. It's not important that I move this yet, but maybe I'll wait until they build this instead. But you see, we have people working this, and that's great. And uh, I, I wish I had a teleporter over in this area. So now that we have, maybe now that we have plastic being made, I could afford that. Um, we can go with special teleporter for that plastic. Maybe just get one of the teleporters up and operational. So we can go maybe like this one. If I build this one, like really quickly and get this one sorted out, then they can start using it to transport all that stuff over. And eventually, like I said, I'm gonna probably move the, the shuttle. I might actually end up moving it over here instead of in here. I like this being my panic room, so uh, we'll have we'll have this be an emergency room. So now that this is ready, somebody should go ahead and do this. And are we traveling? We are, just making sure. Okay, with this done, we can hook it up to the network. And there's a fire. Okay, now that we know there's a fire, this is the whole point of having this. So we'll go ahead and turn off the oxygen pump. It's toggled off. And then um, now there's a fire in here, but I am currently reducing oxygen and... Uh, probably should get the vents. Are there any vents open? That one's closed. This one's open. Close it. Uh, any other vents? Yeah, this one's open. Close it. There we go. And so we have the oxygen is venting out of the room. And the temperature should be dropping. Because this is still very hot. So I think that's probably... Yeah, it sounds good. Let's go ahead and close that. Turn this back on. And we can open up the vents again, I guess. Uh, open vent. Yes, open vents. Okay. Uh, so that happened. But now that it's connected, we can link it to one that is over, like, I think, like, right here, actually. Yeah, we link it to this one because it's closest to the crafting stations. So now they can travel from this point to here. They can't go the other way. Still have to make the walk to the other direction. But if they're over here and they have the copper and the plate, they can take it to crafting much faster now. And you know, I guess eventually we're gonna have a lot of you know them over here, like I said before, so. Uh, okay, so the next thing to do, making sure I'm kind of covering all my bases here. Um, the next thing I wanna do is connect you, connect, that's already connected, okay. So these heaters need to be online, there we go, and I guess once this one is done, we'll connect that one too. Not sure how I'm gonna. Oh, there's a plug right here. Okay, never mind. And yeah, so the heat here should funnel into this. This should be more come more comfortable. This should become more comfortable. If this one stops being an X, then I'll just ignore this. It looks like it is getting warmer. That might actually be okay. I think we can cancel that task. I think it'll end up it'll end up being fine. And then we'll get the vent in there too. Uh, all right. Seems good. Um, we still have to reconfigure this one and then let's check out the temperature in these rooms. Still a little chilly. I think it's because the heat has to travel through this vent and then come through here, which is not there, not very efficient. So I'm gonna also add a vent maybe on this one right here. And then that way the heat can get in here and get dispersed in both directions at that point as well it's not safe to it's not comfortable in there either all right go ahead and connect these there we go and like that like that like that just getting as much power as i can connected to this uh, a whole bunch here too let's go like that there we go um i am curious if there's any way to like i don't know is there any way for me to just say connect all turn off order cleaning I can't I can't just say I want to connect to all available well maybe I can oh I can do it here wait no no that's been here the whole time uh, I mean, it's a little indiscriminate. Like, I can't tell um, what it's connecting to, right? Like, I don't need to be connected to uh, both of these, I don't think. Well, maybe. I think I'll do this instead. And then have you not connected to this. 
And that way, um, I have an extra connection free to, to do this from here. But, oh, that's a thing that exists. <laughs> I didn't know that. See, I'm a dinghy. This is what happens. We just, I don't read. All right, I don't look at every menu. This is what happens when this, yep. And then there's a ship here. Let's pause it because it's kind of glitching out. We're traveling, that's why it's kind of reorienting itself. Uh, so let's get rid of the short circuit notice. So merchant, what do you have on you? Plastic! They have plastic! Finally, it has happened, yay! We'll get like 65 of this. Uh, sounds good. Is there processor efficiency upgrade? Wow, I want a couple of these. They're very expensive, my God. I want a bunch of these though. These will make our furnaces, the nutrient extractors, the grinders, etc. It'll make these more efficient. You get to work, they work a little bit faster, which is nice. Uh, proficiency upgrade, not efficiency upgrade, uh, I believe. Uh, disc compression would be very helpful. I'm really concerned I don't have enough stuff like to actually give them. Ooh, a shuttle storage upgrade. Hey, this is good too. We should get these. Let's get uh, three of these. We'll just max out our shuttle. Um, so we're at 25K is what we need to come up with. This guy's got a lot of good stuff. I like this guy. This guy, what's his name? This guy's name is Benitez. Uh, I know I, I know a Benitez. It's, it's a last name. I know somebody with a last name Benitez, but still, they're a good, good guy, Benitez. Uh, okay, so I think it's probably all I can afford. So what I want to offer them, I'm tempted to give them one of my cleaning bots, to be honest. Um, mostly because I don't want to give up my copper, but I have a lot of copper, so. I really actually don't have a lot of copper. Um, I need to get more. I need to, I need to mine more, but I'm going to have to give some of it up if I want to have these upgrades. So I'm going to, I'm going to go like probably this much. Now I'll have a little bit of cash left, but I get the shuttle up, three shuttle upgrades, five processor upgrades, 65 plastic. I can, let's bump this, this rookie number up to 90. There we go. I can just max out on my money, honestly. Just, just give him basically everything I have for more plastic. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to execute that trade. That's a hell of a trade right there. I'm digging it. Oh man. I knew one of these general, one of these general people sooner or later would have plastic. Okay, so now that we have plastic in in, uh, in our base, um, we can afford to upgrade a lot of the stuff. So I've got uh, the disk space upgrades prompted. We're gonna add a uh, new RAM. And then um, this new cleaning bot just uh, went ahead and got done. But as you can see, it shut down, right? We don't have the CPU capacity to handle this many bots. So we're gonna stop producing bots here really quick because I don't need any more. We're at six out of six is what I wanted. Um, we'll go in and tell this to make copper wire instead. Tell it to make like 50 of it. Okay. What I want to do now is we can use that plastic to go in and create a CPU area. And I, th I think I'm going to do it here. So we're going to say CPU module, one terahertz. And let's put this, we could put this like, say here, we'll say Two, let's do build two of them for now. Um, we want to also go ahead and build this as fast as possible. Because I need to connect them once they're up. And um, you can see we're just doing direct replacements of these units, which is nice because all they take is plastic. That's all we're waiting for anyway. And then what we'll do is... Uh, again, I need this, to, need this to be built. Oh, they can't build it. There's stuff in the way, they can't build it. Um, let's relocate the charging port to here. And then now, now you should be able to reach it now. Yep. We come in here and uh, get this done, deliver the glass and you're good to go. We're not enough protein. I have to work on that, I guess. Not enough protein. We need to have process more bodies, need people to die so that others may live. No, actually the protein is what we're using to make the survival meals. But we don't need that anymore because we have grain and um, we have flour now because we've been processing it. And so we should have, if I take a look at my inventory, we should have 87 flour. So now instead of the protein being needed, we will simply 
cook bread instead. Let's make like 50 of these, which is great. I think I'm also going to need another refrigerator, so we'll construct an additional refrigerator here too. All this stuff is good. Um, this is still making coffee, which it's not supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead and have them harvest that, harvest that, uh, harvest that, and harvest this. And then uh, you guys can go ahead and do that. It's great. I'm just going to switch this. I need to switch this to be wheat. Okay. Now we're good to go. Converter is idle. Uh, I, I assume that's because we're out of rubber. Being out of rubber is what would cause that to happen. Uh, yep. No more rubber. Okay. Now, you can also use this to create rubber. But you have to have plastic in order to do that. And rubber is not as useful to me right now as the plastic is. Although, making a big heater over here would require me to have it. But I think the rooms are now... One second. Ooh. Here. The rooms are now comfortable. So they can all sleep in their own rooms now. Good stuff. All right, CPU modules are online. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to disconnect this because we don't need that connected there. We're going to reconnect to that. Okay, and then I'm going to have this connected there. And everything should be online now. Then I want this final connection to go ahead and get off of this and go to there. And then this is going to connect to these two. Now you can connect to CPU modules. And then I will go ahead and relocate you over here so we can have that in a block. All right. So, and we'll hook this up. So now that we've got that done, we have multiples, multiple bots offline. So we can go into our beings list. You can see there, there are two online, offline. We can either select the bot individually, go to manage worker, and then turn it on like this. Or we can hit this button and all of them will turn on. So now all of our cleaning bots will spring to life continue cleaning the ship which i gotta say they've done a pretty good job look at this huh things are working out here a really good job oh i need to connect this too like that now we can use that refrigerator for the bread uh okay so with this done we got wheat here coffee here let's take any mini planter that's doing wheat we'll go down here let's say i'm trying to clear this room out i i, I don't want it to I don't want it to be here anymore. I want it to be elsewhere. I want all this stuff to grow elsewhere. Connect it there. Coffee can go relocate it here. Let's add another uh, another part to connect there. And then also we can do another one here. And I, I think we could literally, we could just have all the connections be wall sockets so that we don't have all of these in the middle of the floor we don't need these connection points once you have the wall sockets i i just think like it really comes down to the wall sockets just not being appreciated enough all right i need i need to appreciate them more they're pretty good um we don't want to harvest i don't need to harvest this it's not grown enough we're gonna go ahead and stop growing that go coffee tree and then relocate to here um but don't do that yet actually don't do that yet because then you're not going to be able to this chair is going to be in the way I'm not sure what that chair is doing the chair can go over here until i make a suitable steel chair to replace it it can go over there how's our trip halfway over to the new planet seems good all right so now this can just connect there and then there and now we can move over space diarrhea again uh we can harvest this that's fine um and then once you're done harvesting i will just simply relocate the planter there to there and then this one your coffee tree as well you'll go there and then we'll just have you connect like that and like that okay excellent um we can i can just relocate you over here and then relocate you over here and I'm trying to get it out of the way because I want to use this room for something else. And this is, uh, no. So eventually, I think I'll have all the planters in the corners. And then we'll have another one in the corner over here. And then uh, maybe we'll have a, I don't know, I'll move this heater over here. Something, I don't know. It, it'll, 
it'll happen eventually. Something something good will come from this, I, sh I assure you. Um, lithium is still being collected. I, I think uh, we've got quite a bit of lithium now. Probably would be better off collecting titanium. Not only is it less power consumption, but it's also um, something that we need more. So I think uh, once the lithium is completed on this, we have like 78, 90, 80, you know, you can see it. Um, so once this is fully completed, I'll switch this to titanium. And then we'll just get a little bit of power back while also collecting something that we need more. There. Like that. Eventually, I'm going to build more of those particle things. Okay, we have RAM. Do we have enough RAM? We need to download more RAM. Do we have enough RAM for the research of... Where is it? Wait for it. Uh, advanced manufacturing. Do I have enough RAM for this? I have 22. I need 24. Okay, so we need one more. Actually, I can upgrade these two. Yeah, upgrading these would take care of the problem for me. So we'll go to RAM, memory module, one, two. Then uh, we're going to use the rest of the plastic, I think, to go ahead and build copies of the teleporters. I, want, I think I want four teleporters for now. This one's damaged because it took fire damage. We'll go ahead and repair that too. And then we can also go in and uh, replace this. I believe it's just wire that we're down, I think. Eight colonists have space diarrhea? Gross. We're gonna need more toilets. I don't know, should I, should I, I keep wondering if I should get more toilets, but I mean, they're not occupied constantly, so it doesn't seem like I need it. But if this is where everybody's gonna be sleeping, then maybe um, we'll have the teleporters and stuff around too. So it, it, this, the thing about teleporters, right, is that it, it kind of creates the situation where you don't need things that would oftentimes complement each other you don't need them to kind of, you know, be interconnected. You don't need them to be very close to each other. You just simply need them to exist. So if you build teleporters kind of all over the place, like over here, we could have, you know, a place for them to go sleep, if you will. What's this? Oh, right. Our upgrades. <laughs> it came in on this one. So processor efficiency upgrade. This is a stack of five. I think I'm going to bring this over here for starters. Relocate that over there. Um, what else? We got the storage upgrade and stuff too, right? Shuttle storage upgrade. There it is. Bring this over to here. And then also I need to connect this stuff up. So connect that, connect that, and connect that. Oh, yeah. So our shuttle now can currently take 150 storage. So whenever we go down to the surface, we mine something... When it gets to 150, it has to come back. That takes time. This is going to allow us to take a lot less time by adding it in there. And I think you can stack these. I don't see any indication that you can't stack them, but I guess we're going to test it because it's good to science this stuff out. So Centurions is now going to upgrade it now to 250. And yes, we can stack them. Put another one in. Softy's going to go ahead and do that. And one more. Why not? So there we go. We have three storage upgrades in this and now we can haul 450 so theoretically we should only really have to go down to the surface of the planet once i mean unless there's a lot more resources than usual but we should really only have to go down there once to get everything we need which sounds amazing just gonna point that out sounds if it didn't sound amazing to you before it sure as hell should now i said it's amazing so therefore it is we can, honestly, with plastic, yeah, actually, with plastic being a thing, we don't need to build these anymore, do we? Because we have plastic now. We can bypass these and and go back to doing these, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, go like that. No? You're not going to let me? Oh, I have to tear them down first. That's the way it works. Tear those down. Uh, stasis array, you can use your Crystability menu to find and enable advanced life support. I know. It's warned me of that quite a few times already. Um, not prepared to do it yet. Fine. 
Okay, so we'll break these down. <laughs> go here we go again. Breaking these down and add the arrays instead. One, two, three, four. And wait for it. Almost there. Five. Uh, and then I guess I can do the other ones too. But I, I got to be careful about draining plastic once more. But I'm super satisfied with what we've got going on now. There we got our teleporter room is starting to take shape. I like it. Here's our proficiency upgrades. Um, or processor efficiency upgrades. So we're going to take and maybe put one in here. We'll put one in here. And we'll put one in here. Now we can stack these two, I think. And I don't know if it goes 33%. And then add another one and that's 66% or if it's 33% and then 33% again. Now that distinction matters in case the math doesn't work out for you. Does it stack as in it makes it to where it's 66% more efficient or does it make it 33% more efficient and then 33% again more efficient, which would be better. It would compound that percentage. Um, I, I, I don't know how that works. So if you're wondering, I don't know, but we could probably find out, I suppose. If there's any way to indicate how fast this produces, then we could take at the time that it takes to produce it and then add another module and then that would tell us. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the time or patience for that. So we're gonna also take the other two, these other uh, upgrades. I'm gonna bring them over here and um, I think I'll use it on the nutrient extractor and then also probably on one of the grinders just to keep that rock going because uh, we need silicon. Uh, so that was all the upgrades, right? We didn't, we didn't get my star creds upgrade yet. I don't think, um, I do want to get that. And I think, uh, hmm, Botox expert or oil trader, building resource alloys, weapons, weapons could be good. I don't have a whole lot of money though. Right. So why don't I see if there is a way to get an upgrades dealer here so I can get star creds. I just want to. I want to be able to mine star creds. That's a really, really cool thing. I want to be able to do that. Um, let me take and build a copy. Boom, boom, and boom. These ones are up and online, ready to go. Connect that one. Connect that one. Doesn't fit, so we'll have to connect that one and that one. You will, you'll connect there. And uh, one more on this side over here. And then I can go ahead and construct that and uh, build a copy soon as you break this down I'm just gonna do one and walk away you lazy there let me get that one connected too so lots more power going in here and this is gonna be huge help just a monumental help on us getting research now we're now able to produce uh looks like just under seven sorry just under 800 kilowatt which is still not one megawatt. So we're still not getting advanced manufacturing as fast as we could, but that's okay. We're getting it. It's just taking time. Lots and lots of time. Uh, we can use, oh, we don't have a wall connector in here anymore, do we? We can use this one. So this teleporter, I'm gonna link this one to, let's say, uh, this one's not connected. I want it to be this one for some reason. I just can't connect it you link to this one and then you are going to link to this one okay those two are connected now you are going to link to let's say here should be fine although we're already linking to the other one so maybe we go in the how about here link to there and then you can link Let's say, oh, hang on. We got a fire. We got to deal with the fire too. Uh, link to that one. It's fine. Uh, is it the bots that's on fire? Who's on fire? Which one of you took heat damage? Uh, Tack is on fire. Tack, I'd like you to leave. Just leave the ship. Just get out. Get out of the ship. No, get out. Tack, Tack, move. Move where I'm telling you to move. Move where I'm telling you to move. Move out of the ship. Nope. Nope. 
this is this is such a disgusting display of obedience. You are this is a, this, an absolute disgusting display of obedience, sir. Get out of my ship. Get out of the airlock. There you go. Good tack. There's no oxygen out here. You're put out. Good. Um, you also cut this one out. Excellent. And how did the tile catch fire? Well, I guess it just got hot, right? It's 193. So I'm going to replace this floor with the reinforced floor, wherever it is. And we're going to replace it with this reinforced floor instead. Uh, I can't do every tile this way, but we can do as many as are exposed. And uh, that will make this place just a little bit safer, okay? So we'll get them doing it when they can. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, are you... Okay, you're processing purely because we're researching, but normally this would not be going. Normally we're fine. We're fine there. So we're going to reinforce this floor in this room. Major construction happening. And uh, hopefully that means there won't be any more heat. I want to get another one of these furnaces in here too, but... Let me see. So we got tons of iron. I want to sell this iron. Just <laughs> We're going to sell tons of it. Um, because we have got lots of steel plate too. Maybe the next time we get a trader... The upgrades trader comes in 20 hours. So maybe the next time we get that trader, we'll... We'll go ahead and uh, fix that. Is this still shut down? Oh, he's moving around, so that's done. That's done. Quick heat damage. Uh, are you not fixed? You just got repaired. Yeah. Oh, that, notifi that notification is gone now. Okay. So, um, I wasn't able to replace the floors directly underneath this which is unfortunate, but I mean, it does kind of make this distinct floor almost like it was meant to be a station, like an extra base. This kind of looks interesting and a little bit backwards too, because it makes it feel like I reinforced the floor underneath this when really it's the rest of the floors that are under, that are reinforced. This is also a really weird looking floor pile. The lights and everything there. Um... Can we afford more solar panels? We have 71 more plastic. God, that feels good, doesn't it? Let's go. Let's do it. Um, four, 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 four. Beautiful. This entire row can go. And take a look at this side. We can get rid of that one. And then we just need to hook you up to power there. Okay. That whole row is, has been decimated. Excellent. Um, we now go in and say we want to build a copy. There, there. Nope. Had to do it, didn't I? Just had to. Cancel. I still, I seriously want right click canceling. It's, I'm so used to it with basically every other building game I've ever played. It's the ability to just right click drag um, instead of the camera when you're in a build mode. It'd just be so much more convenient, so much more intuitive. Uh, looks to me like I'm going to have to, yeah, I, I guess I could do it like this. Three, four, five. No, I should be able to do the whole thing all the way across. Yeah. Should be able to because it's adding two rows on each side. Yeah, there it goes. Oh man, look at all the power we're going to have here, huh? Unless of course a dust storm hits. That's like the one caveat right now, is if a dust storm hits, then I'm I'm not going to be able to do it, right? I mean, I'll have power, just not nearly as much. That's where, in the future, you know, nuclear power will help out quite a bit, I think, there. Uh, build a copy there. Okay. So they built this stuff quick. Ah! Micrometeoroids! Stop! Hang on, what does this mean? <laughs> what? What? I heard, like, the whole camera just shook, like I was getting hit with something. Micrometeoroids detected. We have entered a zone where it is there is a high chance to get hit by a micrometeoroid flying at near light speed. Exercise caution. Okay. Uh, where was I hit? Damage report. Repair tool. Here. Oh, my God. That, it, it, it does come in quick, quickly, doesn't it? Um, but hey, it looks like it's only hitting the exterior hull. 
um, for now until it hits my solar panels and screws me over. Um, but for now, it's, it's hitting the hull. And you know what? Maybe the reinforced hull does matter then. It has higher hitch, higher hit points and everything. Maybe that does matter. Um, where did it hit now? Oh, right over here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think it does. It's kind of pushing through. It did damage here. Um, look, 45 out of 300. Yikes. So it would have destroyed this wall, but it reinforced it. And then we did pass the damage onto that side. Okay, so I can pretty much now confirm that the double the double reinforced wall on the outside is a good idea. And we are a go for doing this everywhere. So I will queue up a construction project on this side that takes care of that. Because this micrometeoroids acts absolutely seem like something that I want to guard against. We'll do a reinforced floor on here too, just in case it's something harsh on the floor too. I don't know. We'll do that. Uh, should I do it on this side to, if it comes in and hits this one tile, but it might. So yeah, we'll do that. And then, um, yeah, so we'll let them build that. And then we're going to put a wall, uh, there too. Danger, danger, danger. Um, probably should reinforce this side too then, huh? You can do it with, I think I'll do this one with floors as well. On the outside like this. And then, uh, I don't know if I need to do this side. Yeah. Okay. We'll do this side too. And then we'll reinforce. Well, I probably should, uh, here, let's just, let's just do this. Build a copy there. So the music changed. So I think that means our micro meteorite threat has, is done and we handled it beautifully. Well done everyone. Oh, this isn't the right tool. Is it repair? That yeah, is it's the right tool. It's currently undamaged. I guess I have to unpause it to show the changes there. But we handled the micrometeoroid very well. Liking it. Good. And then um, we're upgraded here. Advanced manufacturing is finally done. We can then get into making plastic as well. Um, I think I might do that and set that up over here. So the fabricator... Production-wise, right here. An advanced version of an assembler that can produce much bigger and more sophisticated equipment. Six construction, three science. Dark Dragon is the only one that can do this. And I think I'm going to add this in the corner back here. It's probably going to generate heat, though, I would think. So, give me one second. Um, fabricator. It doesn't say it generates heat, but it may. I'm going to leave myself the opportunity to add these to the sides of it if I need to. And I can actually put two of them right next to each other, which could be kind of cool. So I'll I'll plan ahead for that too. But we can also go in and get this assembler and bring that back here as well. Like pretty much everything, uh, all the storages, all this crafting stuff, it should all get brought back here. I think that's just the best, best solution. Look at them come in and then just immediately leave through the other teleporter. We're going to see this area just being like, Nyaw! everything just coming, coming through here all the time. It's going to be super great. Once my teleporter network is established the way I want. Um, you'll notice also, I mean, right now it's not so much of a problem, but you know, there's only like a few places to eat and there's quite a few people. So I feel like I want to get more tables and stuff. That's what this area is. I want this area to be, uh, this area to be Missy Coco joined the com. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the new dog. There's a new dog named Missy Coco. Looks like a little. What kind of dog is that? The tails curling up like this. Is this? Did you just give me Doge? Did you just give me a Doge? Right, right before. Oh, don't go. Oh, sorry. You can go out here. I thought this was the the vacuum of space. I'm like, don't go, don't go. <laughs> uh, stupid dog install upgrade i'm gonna do this on the nutrients extractor and i think one of the grinders although there are two grinders and only one recycler but this doesn't have a whole lot in the queue we might end up needing it in the refinery actually because hopefully we find oil at some point i'd like to to say we're gonna find oil at some point and then be able to make more plastic from uh, more petroleum. We do have some petroleum already, but 
We obviously need to make even more petroleum. Uh, okay, how's my power now? Are we producing over a megawatt yet? Very close. No disconnected devices. And battery charge is going up. And we are not moving. Merchant ship is here, though. Let's take a look at what you got. Upgrades. Star creds miner. I'll take it. Anything else? Disk compression. I'll take both of those. And, you know, I can take the processor efficiency upgrades. Those are always really good to have. And then um, we can offer you... Yikes. Not much. 15,000. Hey, I'm I'm overbuying here. I, I, my, my eyes are bigger than my wallet right now. So... Let's uh, let's pull back. Actually, these ones are cheap. These ones are expensive. Four thousand seems much more reasonable here. Um, I think I'll trade you a couple of battery cells, and I guess I'll. Oh, where's my iron? Can I give you iron? You won't take iron. Oh, I have so much iron. I want to give you iron. Fine, you can have my copper plate. I never did anything for you. Still don't have enough money. Okay, I need to give you even more copper plate. Uh, I can give you the wire too, but... Oh, I'm already... No, I'm giving you plate. I want to give you more plate. More plate. Uh, right, like this would be fine. Okay, trade. Executed. Okay, so now... We should be able to get the star creds miner. Relocate that here. So we can install that. And then the disk compression upgrade, I want to relocate that into here so we can get that installed in the, over here. So, star creds, upgrade, install, miner. Now we can st start making money on an ongoing basis. So, we'll have to see how that works. Um, we have 1.2k. And um, we want I want to see whether or not we actually are starting... Okay, not mining any currency. Here it is. So, star creds, start mining. So how does this work with power draw? Do we start drawing a lot more power? It looks like we did. Yeah, we went from with we went from doing about 500 something and then we jumped up a little bit. I kind of want to see how does that affect our power draw? So, if I stop mining, it drops back down. Okay, so currently consuming 500 up here, we were consuming about 600. So it's about 100, 100 kilowatt. <laughs> that's, that's very, that's, a, that's a, an expensive process. But 100 kilowatt in there. Okay, good. That's fine. Uh, it's, it's all about whether or not we actually get, you know, money for that and how much money we're going to get for that. I don't know. But I think this is a great place to just chill and stop for now. So we are very close to a new planet. We're almost there. So in the next video, we'll make contact with Vlade Fedorov. And um, we're, we're mining star creds now. We've got some plastic. We've upgraded our RAM. We got more processing. We're going to get more bots. Uh, we got our, our teleport network has begun. We have three here. We're going to have a fabricator built in, which looks like it needs rubber. That's why it's not being done. So maybe I'll use a little bit of my plastic and revert it back to rubber. But um, this is great. I hope you guys have a great day, um, a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, it really means a lot to me. It does. The stuff is, uh, it's, it's an adventure. And um, YouTube, as always, is an adventure. So thank you. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.